NBC has released the results of the internal investigation that ensued after former Today Show co-anchor Matt Lau was accused of sexual misconduct and terminated from his lucrative position. The report states that the investigation turned up no evidence that leadership at NBC News, Today or Human Resources received complaints about Lau's workplace behavior prior to November 27, 2017. The investigation, which was led by NBC Universal General Counsel Kim Harris and included interviews with close to 70 current and former employees, focused larger on Lau's behavior and complaints from four women who came forward late last year with their stories. According to the report, the women who accused Laura confirmed that they did not tell their direct manager or anyone else in a position of authority about their sexual encounters with Laura. Current and former members of NBC News and Today Show leadership, as well as News HR, stated that they had never received a complaint about inappropriate workplace behavior by Laura, and we did not find any contrary evidence. The report continued, We were also unable to establish that any of those interviewed, including NBC News and Today Show leadership, News HR, and others in positions of authority in the news division, knew that Lauer had engaged in sexual activity with other employees. In a separate note to employees also sent Wednesday morning, NBC News chairman Andy Lack admitted that the last few months have been extraordinarily difficult. He continued, Like many of you, I'm immensely proud of NBC News, its history and the work we do. But stepping back from the investigation, that history also includes a time when people were not comfortable Comfortable coming forward to voice complaints about repugnant behavior. That is not acceptable. We have already begun to turn the page to establish a safer and more respectful environment. The report also attempts to set the record straight about the desk button in Lauer's office, which became a big part of the media coverage. The report stated that according to the NBC Universal Facilities team, the button is a commonly available feature in executive offices in multiple NBC Universal facilities to provide an efficient way to close the door without getting up from the desk. The button releases a magnet that holds the door open. It does not lock the door from the inside. The investigation began shortly after Lau was fired on November 29th for what the company termed inappropriate sexual behavior with a young female employee that began during the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi. At the time, Lau characterized Lau's behavior as appalling and Lau apologized but pushed back on some of the allegations. In a recent report by the Washington Post, he once again denied the claims, but Ann Curry, his former co-host who was famously ousted in 2012, told the Post that a female colleague sought her out when she was at the Today Show, telling her she was sexually harassed physically by Lauer. Curry took the woman's complaint to two managers, she told the Post. I told management they had a problem and they needed to keep an eye on him and how he deals with women, she said. The organization has come under fire for enabling what some characterize as a culture of sexism and harassment, or pervasive verbal sexual harassment, as Curry puts it, and many have taken issue with the fact that NBC conducted an internal investigation at the network instead of hiring an outside firm to perform the culture assessment. Multiple staffers who spoke to THR said they felt the inquiry should have been outsourced if only because the optics of an internal inquiry are less than favorable. Others disagree. I don't feel like the investigation is not being taken seriously because it's being run by NBC, said one employee. Hiring a third party to investigate is often done for effect. To read more on this story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.